Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can write your weekly defect status report in Excel. You can also call this weekly bug status report. First, we are going to start with name. Okay. Second thing, which I want to specifically mention here as project ID often in some companies you have project ID assigned you need to write that here okay and this name should be your name then name of the application after that type the name of the module that is under test or the type of module that you have tested is weak then test date date on which testing started then reported date this is for tracking when you actually reported this document okay after that you have completed date for number of tests that are being completed by you okay after that QA manager name QA lead okay this is to keep the people in loop and then you just make a border out of it okay let me just make it clear okay so we have our first module in weekly status report the second should be the summary I'm going to call this one bug summary okay so first thing in this is total test cases okay second thing tests executed third thing past tests then failed test after that non executed test Now let me make it complete here. Let's make it a bit more visible. Okay. After that, make it a bit. All right. Now we have a few more things to list here like test case execution summary test case execution summary inside which we are going to write test case id test cases executed then we have a few more details but for which we are going to use a bigger table from here so let's go with that 
test execution summary. Okay. Now we have here is test case ID. Next column I want pass or fail or not executed. Okay. Third column should be test execution date and what should be comments if you have any okay make this table a bit more attractive make it a bit bigger Now I have it fine. So I'm going to change this so that it looks good. Now, how about changing few more things here, like making past this as green. As green as this, then fail taste as red. Okay, now on executed as yellow. Okay, so we have pretty much good attention in our status report okay then a few more things to do is now let's start with open issues summary so here we have our first column as open issues after that priority okay then third column should be assigned then test case id for that we have reported it then status and then update it okay so we have everything here Let me change this to for visibility. I can pick in something that looks a bit decent. Okay. Now have some more columns assigned here. Okay, so now we have two things left, which is closed issues. Then test case ID and close your date. With a few more columns. And save this document or keep it for later so one more thing left we have to do here is next week's priorities and tasks in hand so we can have that here too coming weeks priorities okay then we have project idea 
then total tests. This schedule that for keeping track of pro project progress and release date for when to release particular project so yeah right so we have that I'm going to give it a few columns okay you can add as many as you want but one should suffice okay then we have one more to complete upcoming tasks okay for that we have more fields like project then do tasks and finally date of release so let me explain exactly how this works okay so in this upcoming task we are going to list the project ID and schedule tasks and this should be date here okay so exactly with the project id what should be the schedule task and when the date for the release so for task one project id schedule task and date of release so it should be in your weekly defect status report okay so we have covered so far is we have covered introductory part then we cover bug summary then we cover text execution summary then we cover open issues their priorities who it is assigned to test case id who reported the bugs status which is pass or fail or not executed okay let me extend this then we have updated for that book then you may have closed issues test case id closure date too and then we are setting the priorities and tasks okay so this is pretty much a sample defect status report that you can make use of in your project if you check the link within my video description you will find access to all those templates that are useful in software testing so I suggest taking a look at that link and you can check out if you like those templates or not or you can simply watch this video create your own template and see if your QA manager or lead accepts similar format or just follow the format that is within your team or within your workplace so i hope you find this tutorial helpful thank you for watching